それではただいまより来年ワールドシリーズ2019アンダー61キロトーナメント準決勝3分3ラウンド延長1ラウンドを行います青コーナー178センチ 60.95 キログラムフェニキス・ソバネス Genji And、uh, as a fighter, you know there's nothing like a rematch to、uh, put those inner demons to bed. So this is his chance. Again, Chen Chong, very strong fighter. Fighting from, Korea, from South Korea. All right, we see some gamesmanship as they meet in the ring. Which fighter has their gloves on top? Small things like this, right? Add up in the fight game for those who are into that type of subtle psychological combat before the actual begins. Well, it's hard because Genji has got a huge height advantage. You can see the difference between the two fighters right there. Yeah.、Uh, also, it'd be interesting with Genji、um, having all that Muay Thai experience, how he might be a good example of how to adapt it、uh, for the, the Rise rules. Yeah. Let's get his belt off before、uh, we start the fight up. All right.、And、Chang Yun getting a rise of the crowd. And then Genji praying Thai respects to his corner. And it's on. Here we go. Step into the office, gentlemen, and go to work. And here he goes. Starts off with a strong、uh, left kick, using that body kick, using his,、uh, his range very well.、Yep. Genji Umino. Yeah, you can see Chang Yao already trying to close the range with his punches. Stay outside, stay outside, and pick his moment to come in and attack.、There、He's got go. good、Again. footwork. Yeah. He knows how to like, come out and come in quickly. Ah. I think, Get, I think Genji Umino is also going to be careful not to grab the back. Grab、yeah. the back too much. Once again, the rise rules do not favor traditional Thai style fighters. Especially when it comes to the clinch. Nice overhand, right? Nice hook on the way in. Using his hands well. Clinching up. I'm sure that Genji's good at it. Once he throws his knees,、yeah. he stops. He waits. That can be hard to do. Nice uppercut to back him up. Tang Hyong han handles that range disadvantage very well. Yeah. I think he's willing to just kind of take a kick on the way in in order to, to get in. He's got he very、is. good footwork. Yeah. yeah. He's going to lean back from that kick just to avoid it. So, as a, as a shorter fighter in the division, he's definitely had to、uh, adapt his footwork in order to be competitive. Very good. He's got a good eye. He's got good distance. Oh! Really unloading. Nice、Those、combination going downstairs、there. and up to the penthouse. That was a hard body. I could really hear that one. Again. Yeah, another nice body shot. He's got a dangerous left hand. Yeah. You can tell that he's adapted his style to become a power puncher、oh. in the division. Two. Down to two more hard ones. Genji's got to get his hands up or、yeah. get some more head movement. Yeah,、Those、he's waiting on that kick now to counter. He's just waiting on that kick. And、uh, Genji seems to be throwing it in habit. See, Genji has a very traditional Muay Thai style. Yeah, I'd like him to establish his jab more before he starts throwing those kicks to at least give him something else to think about. Clinch up. That's it. Gets the one knee and then he has to wait for the ref to break it up. There he is. Now he's、yep. using his range a little bit better, using that long kick. Exactly. Staying back, staying back, giving himself time to recover.、So、we can't get counted. Oh, very、oh. hard leg kicks from Chich. Well、Tank、done.、Him. 
Well done by Chang Young, going downstairs to take his opponent's eye off and then coming right back up top. Chang Young doesn't seem too interested in doing too much in the clinch, just so happy to wait for it to be broken up. Yeah. The last 10 seconds of the round. Oh, oh nice looks, inside leg kick there too. Yeah, Chang Young has a lot of power. Yeah. And uh, I think we can safely say Chang Young. Uh, Lee did a better job in that round of uh, imposing his game. So he controlled that fight very well. Really um, not letting that uh, height range difference yeah. uh, this, uh, put him at a disadvantage at all. He really just handles it well. But I think that's because he's got very good footwork. If you can watch, he, he darts in and out very quickly. Yeah, he's very got great balance. He's, uh, he's almost like, a, because he's so short, and you'll see how stocky his legs are and how kind of more mus he has more musculature on his shorter frame. He reminds me of like a Mike Tyson of the division, right? Where he has to kind of, kind of really have good balance, really good footwork, and uh, use that to get in with his shorter, with his shorter arms. Yeah, he has that explosiveness. Yeah. Second. Seconds being uh, the the, the corner being called out. Yeah. Well, let's see if uh, Umeno can make Whoa. the adjustment. Here we go, round two of the Rise uh, World Series tournament. And Second the fight. rematch between these two young gentlemen. Strong, starting off with some strong kicks by both fighters. Yeah. See, again. again, using his range really well to stay out of those dangerous kicks. Yeah. And uh, Genji is insisting upon the traditional Muay Thai style, which uh, takes away his jab a little bit. But he's starting that, to warm up and really start unloading those kicks. Yeah. Watch out. I think they clashed heads there a bit. Yeah, he's starting to use that left kick quite nicely. Genji's corner calling him to use more push kicks. Yeah. I'd really like to see him use his hands to set those kicks up, though. Uh, he does have, have the opponent range. like Chang Young Lee, he'll be able to read that now, knowing that that left kick is coming. He'll just wait for it, time it, and counter it. See, he's waiting. He's waiting for it to time it and counter it. There it is. You can see with an experienced oh. fighter like Chang Hyo, against a taller opponent, he's using a lot of, he's staying out, using a lot of range, and when he has the opportunity, he comes in quickly. Ref, uh, okay, and the ref. on time out there. Once again, and the rules not favoring the traditional Thai style fighter when it comes to that clinching area. So they really have to make that adjustment to kind of overcome their instincts, gain through years of training to kind of just adjust. Yeah, it's very hard. It's yeah. very hard to send So hats off to those from that traditional Thai background that uh, put their hat in the ring in the rise oh. organization. Chai Hyung is doing a very good job of controlling the yeah. range. Again, this round seems to be a bit more even between the two. Well, I think Genji now is starting to get a little more rhythm. He's starting to use that left kick right now. He's spinning back fist. Nice. Oh, nice left hook by Chang Hyung. Genji's still relying on that left kick. It's working, but he should mix it up a little more. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's getting a little bit predictable now, so. It looks like he might have uh, slipped or hurt his foot or something like that. He was pointing to the mat there. That is one of the disadvantages as these fights go on. Uh, the, the mat, the, the, the ground can get quite slippery. Yeah. You just don't notice it because it's but, uh, Yeah, for those of you at home who have never fought in a ring, uh, the first thing you notice when you step in is that, hey, this is much slipperier than uh, a dojo mat or a tatami. Yes, it's, it's all the dust and, and the water on the ground. And you're fighting on cloth or canvas, really, so. Yeah, so it, they uh, sometimes take time to, to clean the ring. Yeah. Uh, but both players are doing really well. Okay, this round is a bit more even. That's the round. All right. So uh, I think both fighters had their moments in that round. So 
Uh, oh, well, here's the replay. Nice knee by, but comes right into a combo. Yeah, he's countering him on those. Uh, Young. Again, he Chang Young use, really uses that uh, his range well, despite like having that disadvantage, waiting to either counter or stay out, coming quickly. Yeah. But a few of those kicks did get by in that round, so. So arguably the judges could have it at a round apiece. So it will come down to this third round. Well, I think with the way Bryce is, uh, just like K1, really scores the punches and the leg kicks well, uh, I think it, the rules may be, or the judging may be wavering for uh, Chang Young. But I never, I never discount the home field advantage. And here we go. An embrace, respect, and let's finish this rematch. Chang Young Lee really wants to get this win back. There we uh, go. Nice yeah. exchange. Still, Chang Young with those dangerous hands. Yeah. I like how he can just slip right out of the way of those kicks. He's really ranging them really well. We have these dangerous hands against these heavy kicks. Yeah. Both fighters showing that they're not grabbing. Nice inside leg kick and upstairs with that hook. Yeah. Actually, Genji might be slowing down Chang Hyung with those body kicks. Yeah, they're they're getting through over time. He's he's really uh, going back to that over and over again, and they're starting to you break can see down his the defense. Bit, like the side's getting a bit red. Yep. See the march and all those kicks. Two minutes left in the third round. Here we go. If it's close, it will go to a draw and there'll be a bonus round. So I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if, the, if they end up with a draw and we get a bonus round. Yeah. Round. It seems to be pretty even right now. Chang Young is not. Oh, uh, spinning. Oh. I'm not sure if that was on purpose. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, Chang Young has ahead. not scored a really decisive combination yet this round. So. Those kicks could be having their effect. Of course, uh, fatigue a factor as the fight goes on. Yeah, it does get harder to maintain. Like, with yeah. Chang Young, he's got to have good footwork to keep uh, exactly. to counter that advantage. And yeah. As the rounds go on, you get more tired and you get flat-footed. Uh, it can start getting dangerous. Uh, the referee telling keep them to on. push, push, push. Oh, that kick really got through. Oh! oh! And everyone heard that. Oh, that was a very hard little yeah. kick. Wow, really buckled. Genji yeah, the last him. minute. Oh, okay. Yes. And he keeps getting that left kick in. Yeah. He switched up his stance and, uh, so he uh, can throw more left That kicks. leg of uh, yeah. Genji's looking really beat up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what's happening here. Low, it's low a cup shot? adjustment. I think there was a low blow. Oh. Some blood pouring down the left leg of Genji Umeno. Okay. Not sure what caused it. Probably all those kicks, he could have yeah. caught the elbow yeah. of uh, Some bleeding Chang on the shin there. Genji right. Umeno calling for the crowd to give him some support. Yeah. Now. Oh, here, here's a replay. Maybe we can see what's happened. That's when. That was a. Maybe a low. push kick to the. Yeah. But actually, they're also having a look at his ankle there. Yeah. All right. And with 30 seconds to go, it could possibly be on the line right here, folks. Yeah. Both Gen fighters Gen going Gen for it. still throwing a lot yeah. of kicks. He's, yeah. he's not letting that injury hold him back. Yeah, he's, he's definitely keeping uh, Chang Chang Young at a distance leg. now. Yeah. Keep go, like, Here we go. They're putting, still putting the pressure on. Lost the corners are yelling at him. Keep going. And uh, as a physically large opponent, uh, Genji seems to be imposing his will at the later stages of the round here. And that's, and that's, yeah. that's, that's the third round. Yeah. That'll be a tough one to call. I, uh, I think the second round could have gone either way. But the last round, I think Genji did uh, edge out the advantage here. So, I think it's going to be a draw for him. Yeah, uh, draw. We might see the first extra round of the night. Yeah.
I think Chang Hyung right now has a bit of an edge, but uh, in times like this, I find the judges do tend to call a draw. Uh, just to make it more decisive, let the bonus round decide who's decide, the real winner yeah. in this match. Who it is, you know? And when it's uh, something close like this, I think that's what a lot of people want. They want a more decisive. Uh, that's victory. why I love the, the the option of that round, where the judges also can say, you know what? Everyone here could see that it was close. Let's give it one more. You know what I mean? To really to really make it, yeah, as we were saying, decisive. But still, we have to wait to see what the <laughs> Here we go. Both fighters looking strong. Uh, 29 to 28. Oh, Blue. Gave the last two rounds, okay. Judge Ogawa. 29. 28. Oh, Blue. Okay, and Umino wins the rematch. And that's it. He managed the decision for Genji yeah. Umino. Umino! Yeah. Genji! Chung Young doesn't seem to be very happy with the uh, result, but uh, I think he could see it going that way himself to the latter two rounds. Uh, good adjustments by Genji uh, and Umino Genji in the latter two rounds there. Again, I'm actually surprised it was that decisive. I would have thought it would have been. Uh, また、今度はそのように、ゆうらが、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、ターゲット、ま、
Okay, so we'll have an all-Japanese final, a 61-kilogram tournament final. 